Hey, what's going on everybody? POA here. Um, today we are going to do a Commander Master Set Booster Box Battle. And here are a couple of Commander Legends Collector Packs, the OG, for the prizes. So, this is a battle. How this works is I've got six wonderful participants. Each one of them is going to get four packs out of this box. Those packs belong to them. We're going to add up the mana value of all of their rares and mythics. And thankfully this is a set box, so that's going to be anywhere between, what, two to five per pack? We're going to have to add all those mana values, and whoever has the highest total and whoever has the lowest total will each win one of those Commander Legends collector packs. So it's a bit of a higher roll, but with a lot of potentially cool pulls. So I'm going to do a little bit of shuffling, and it's pretty much uh, threw that box off the table, I guess. <laughs> It's gone. It's gone. All right. Okay. One more little shuffle, and we should be good. Okay, cool. So we've got Jacob, the Almighty Taquito. We've got Vincent. We've got Daniel. We've got Future. Assuming I did everything right, that should leave me four for healing. There we go. Excellent. So, good luck, everybody. We're going to do this in three rounds because I like to create the suspense. It's fun. So, first round is going to be two packs a person, then another pack, then the final pack, pack off. There are uh, set cards, or list cards, sorry. In this case, we have an uncommon from Jumpstart, Cinder Elemental. So, Jacob, here we go. We got Mowu in foil. Sower of Discord, that is a 6. And Yasan, you're at a 9. And Anna Fenza to stop that, but then Felworth Stone, Thought Vessel, and let's see what we got. We got, ah, Exsanguinate. So that is a 9 to start for Jacob. Okay, next pack for Jacob, the Pilferer. Rejuvenating Springs, always a solid pool. Counts as a zero. Hey, Ruby Medallion, the one that's still holding up well. That's a two. Safara, the other way around, you're at a nine. Judith, which is an uncommon, so that is a nine in that pack. We got Kodama's Reach. Okay, so Jacob, you're at an 18 to start. That was a nice pack. I'm going to put the medallion on top. Taquito, you're up. Next, here we go. Okay, that is a rare. That is Knight Exemplar, which is actually not a bad little uh, list pull right there. That's a three. Song of the Dryad, and then we got a foil rare. So that is a, you're at a six so far. Crater Hoof Behemoth for our first mythic, and it is a good one. All right, so that is an eight, so you're at a 14. Sapphire Medallion, so you're at a 16. Can, it, can, can, can we, we can still go? Dracuseth. We're at 23, and it ends there, but a 23. Sheesh. Oop, gorgeous foil, Elena Danner Island. That is a 23. And Crater Hoof, of course, was a... You know, it, it, it never, like, dropped off a cliff when it came out in this product. Uh, I think it got down to, like, the low 20s at the lowest. I believe... I, I will admit I haven't looked, but I believe it's already been... Recovering pretty decently. So there's that. So next pack for Takita. We got the Loyal Guardian. Emerald Medallion. So that's three medallions already. That's a two. Magus of the Wheel. You're at a five. Hey! hey, 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 hey. Ulamog. Uh, that is a 15 so far. Kindred Dominance for a 22. Sheesh. Tatiova, Elvish Mystic. Is that it? Is that seriously? Yeah, that's a 22. All right, well, you're at a 45. A 45 and two awesome mythic hits in Ulamog and Crater Hoof. I don't even know which one to put on top. I'm going to put Ulamog on top just because of the old Drowsy been hot since uh, MH3. All right, Vincent. Now, this happened once before in the past where somebody like had some monster packs, and they didn't win the high. So we're not going to call... What is going on with this pack? Mm -hmm, there we go. Planar Portal. That is a 6. Drake, you said. You're at a 13. 
Okay. Smothering Tithe, Mythic number three, and it's another good one. Here at a 17. Common Deer for a 22. And Eureka for a 25. And I know that was the end of it there. Reliquary, Vandal Blast, a 25. So, okay. Also, other Tithe's going to get sleeved up. Talk about another card that's just been on the recovery bus. You know, because if you have a commander deck and it has white in it, there's a good chance you want that card. Okay. Next pack for Vincent. Sulfurous Blast. Scourge of the Throne for A6. Jorel. It's an 8 and an 8. A little less spicy, but a Greaves. And not yours, Nightblade. Okay. That's an 8. That is a 33 for Vincent. And we have three Mythics out of the way out of hopefully eight, nine Mythics. That'd be great. Can be as low as five, but... All right, Daniel, you are up next. Kodama's Reaching Foil. Hellkite Charger for a six. Steel Shaper's Gift, you're at a seven. Kaikar, you're at an 11. And Yeheni. Arcane Sig. Return to Dust, Okay. 11 for Daniel. Next pack. Opal Palace. Kindred Dominance, a 7. Galta. Sheesh, that is, you're at a 19 all of a sudden. Just sell. <laughs> so, 19, 26. And then Raph is where it's going to end. With a faithful saluting. A 26. Daniel, you're at a 37. God, these packs are wild sometimes. <laughs> okay, future. Seriously, doing battles with this product is, is a, a, kind of a fun experience. All right, future, we got... Deflecting Swat, nice, for our first of the free commander spells. That is a three. Balan, you're at a seven. And Tygum is where that ends. Path to Exile. Path of Ancestry. But, awesome hit. Sleeve it up. Seven. Okay, next back. Oops. Apparently I'm, str apparently I'm struggling today. There we go. I got Alliance of Arms. That is a rare. It's a one. Dowser. Sword of the Animus. You're at a three. What is this? Gilded Lotus, you're at an 8. Zansha, you're at an 11. And that is where that ends. Ewit, Shirai. All right, so Future, you're also at an 18. Congrats on one of the biggest rare hits in the set. Helum, you're up. Sandstone Oracle. Lifeblood Hydro, which is not a bad rare. It's a three. Chromatic Lantern, you're at a six. Godo, so you're kind of racking it up now. It's a 12, and it's where it's going to end. Commander Spear. Okay, next pack. Renowned, renowned, oh, whatever. Spellseeker for a three. Nice mythic. Arm Elms Collector. Sorry, it's a seven. Torrential Gear Hulk. You're at a thirteen. Nekusar. You're at an eighteen. And Tetsuko is where it ends with a counter spell and a command tower in the borderless. So what was that again? Hold on. Eighteen. So Helum, you're at a thirty. I'm going to cover what everybody's at right now. That's four Mythics so far, just for counting at home, and one free Commander spell so far. All right, we've got Jacob is tied for the low. He's at an 18. Almighty, Almighty Taquito's in the high right now to 45. Vincent's at a 33. Daniel's at a 37. Future's also tied for the low at an 18. And Helam is at a 30. So the next round is going to be one pack a person, cover scores again, and then we'll do the one pack pack off. All right, so Jacob, let's do this. Tooth and Nail, it's a 7. 
Inspired in Statuary for a 10. Mizzix for a 14. And then Serac. All right, not quite the pack we were going for there. That is a 32, Jacob. Let's move me medallion back on top. All right, almighty, almighty Taquito. Here we go. Drone. Training Center. That's a zero. Rune Scarred Demon for a seven. Odric, you're up to an 11. And that's where that's going to end. Not a bad little pack. Pack the Exile. That is a 56. 56. Okay, Vincent. Path of Ancestry. Hammer of Nizan for a 4. Sun Quan, another mythic. That is a 10. And then Lo Shiel, who is kind of becoming one of the more expensive uh, uncommons in the product. For pretty good reason. So that is a 10. So Vincent, another mythic. You're at a 43. Hammer of Nizan, of course, is a nice rare pool overall. All right, Daniel. Whisper, Aminatu's Augury for an 8, Perforos, there's another good mythic, so what are we at right now? We're at 5 mythics, 6 mythics, okay, so that is a 12, and then Slimefoot, okay, we got, all right, it's going to be a fascinating last round, you're at a 49, Daniel, I am going to sleeve up Perforos, because that... It's kind of a super good card, and, and it went down a lot when it came out, and I'm pretty sure without even looking that it's been recovering nicely. You know, because as token strategies keep getting bigger, that's like kind of like an auto-include. All right, future. Sunblade Angel. Azuri's Predation for an 8. Azusa, that's a decent rare, that's an 11. And Undergrowth Stadium, Borderless. That's pretty cool. That is a still an 11 and an 11 with the Vertiloth. Ooh, Ashnod's Altar. So you're at a 29, Future. So actually, right now, you are in the low, but I'll cover that again with everybody before we do the last pack. Heal him. You're up. Meteor Golem. Disrupt Decorum for a 4. Maelstrom Wanderer, which I'm glad wasn't a mythic. That's a 12 and a 12. Sanguinate. Okay. Okay, this last round is going to be interesting. Hopefully we still have another mythic or two out there to pull. Because we're at six now, which is kind of like the average. Uh... All right, Jacob, you're at a 32. Almighty Taquito, you're in the high at a 56. Vincent, you're at a 43. Daniel, you're at 49. Future, you're in the low to 29. Helium, you're at a 42. It's amazing the casting cost you put together out of this product out of just a few set boosters. All right, Jacob. So you have a list of all that glitters. Eureka. So there's a foil rare. It's a three. Wait, you're going for the low. Eh, it's still not bad. That's a three. Vindictive Lich, you're at a seven. Come on. Gisela. Uh, that's a big old casting cost. You're at a 14. And Ghost of Ramirez. And a Felwar Stone and a Gorgeous Forest. Okay. So 14. Nothing's decided yet. That is a 46. Taquito, you are up. Supply Runners. Scythe Claw for a 5. Obscuring Haze, you're at an 8. Bells and lock. Bells and lock. Um, so just like that, you're up to a 14. And a 14 it is. Arcane Signet Fortalis. Let me just double check. So Obscure and Haze for a second free commander spell. You are at a 70 in four packs. A 70. Will that remain the high? Let's find out. Vincent. 
Thrive and Isle. Another Mythic, we got the Immortal Sun for a 6. Hannah, you're at a 9. And that's where that's going to end. That's actually a pretty low pack overall. Okay. That is a 52, Vincent. So unfortunately, you're not in the high or the low, but you are taking home some goodies. Okay, Daniel. You are the other threat for the high. Yeah, I guess Helam's in uh, shooting distance, too. All right, we got Order of Yawgmoth. Shikari, Boom Pile for a four. Wrath of God, you're at a eight. Tafiri, okay, you're at a fourteen, and it's gonna end there with the Yodora. Dark Steel Mutation, Elvish Mystic. So that's a sixty-three, Daniel. Fortunately, not in the high and not in the low. But, once again, do have some goodies. Okay, future. Finish low is a 46. You're at a 29. Let's see what you got. Carrier Thrall. Pearl Medallion, our fourth medallion. All right, so that's a 2. Angelic Field Marshal, you're at a 6. Endric Sar, you're at a 10. Nope, you're at an 11. And that's going to end it there. So that is the winner of the low. With a 40 on the dot. So I did get this box from a very well-renowned giant game store. Um, clearly it didn't have the best storage conditions, but like the very... Uh, <laughs> Clearly wasn't the best storage conditions. Um, but like the foils in this particular box look fantastic. Like they feel less matte finished than a lot of the Japanese ones are. They like they still have some shine to them. Like the, the foils look super good. It's interesting. Alright, Helam. Here we go. You're at a 42. Finished high is a 70. Bastion of Remembrance and Foil. Champion's Helm for a 3. Carador, so you're up to an 11. And that's going to end it there. Nice part about doing this product is the sheer number of awesome uncommons out there also. That is a 53. Let me just put this stuff here and then we'll do the final scores in the handout. We have Jacob. Finished at a 46. Almighty Taquito. He finished at a 70 in the high. Vincent, 52, Daniel, 63, Future and Lolo at a 40, and Helam at a 53. So, Future, let's open your collector pack. These are some of the all, most all-or-nothing collector packs that have existed. So, let's see how we do. Good luck to you both. I don't get to do these often. I'm going to go a little slower. Because in, in this area, you can get some hidden, decent uh, hits. So, Scholar of the Ages. Kenji. Kenji. Tormod. Jessica's Will Borderless Foils. Sheesh! That goes well with that deflecting swat. Okay, I'm going to sleeve that sucker up in a second. That's a hit. Oh. Commander's Spear? What is this? 10-10. Apex Devastator. Extended art. Sweet. If I called that Jessica's Will Borderless, I apologize. Extended art. I don't know what I said. I was just too excited. Okay. This is a good pack. What else we got? Tuya. Mythic. Because you always have a Mythic there. Karametra. And... Livio to finish it off. You always have a mythic in that out of those three, which is the reprint mythic, reprint commander mythic. That was in the collector boxes in the foil etched. That's, that's always a mythic. And there's some pretty good ones to be had. Uh, future, that was awesome. I hope, hope you got something that you're going to dig. That Jessica's Will, that's a hit. 
I mean, that card gets reprinted and like in a month it goes back up to its original price. Why? Because the card is a freaking monster. Okay, Takito. Return to Dusty, that's what I was talking about. Well, that one, that one in particular is not a hit. There are some good ones to be had. Kedis. Glacian. Port Razor. I saw the Mythic and I was like, ah, well, that's still a Mythic. Mythic Port Razor. Factor Fiction in the Extended. War Room in the Extended Art, which is actually pretty cool. Okay. A little off-centered, but top to bottom, and a little left to right, but that's all right. Armix. Okay, come on. Come on. Ludovic. That's not terrible, okay? Ludovic. And we're going to finish it off with an Arkelos. And that is going to do it, folks. I want to thank everybody out there for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all this stuff. Patrons, especially thanks to all of you for still wanting to do such things. Um, without you guys, the channel would no longer exist. So big shout out. Thanks to every single one of you. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the battle. I hope everybody's at least getting some stuff that they want. Obviously, these are very high risk, high reward type box products, right? So you know that going into it and it plays out different ways. And uh, it's good to see that the Commander Legends packs weren't half bad either. Thank you all. Bye.